Hello everyone, my name is Andy Earth, and today I'm going to show you how to float item using lofts. In this specific example, I'm going to actually make a loft. I want a little, I want a little loft with a, a, a card playing station here. As you can tell, we're going to be lifting a table and two chairs. I've already started as a kind of a practice, but today I'm going to show you how to lift the whole thing up and make it a full loft. So two things is going to be required for this glitch. First of all, you're going to need a full stage panel right at the bottom here, and you're going to need a wooden loft to actually lift all of your furniture. One thing to keep in mind is that it is going to be a lot easier for yourself. And I highly recommend that you do set up all of your stuff first because it's going to be a lot easier to lift everything than to do it individually. So let me go center this for us and then we'll get started. Beautiful. Now that we have everything set up, the first step will be to place our stage panel as centered with our setup as possible. You can do this from a partition, but I do like the stage panel as because you can set it as far in the wall as you need um, to give you a, like a clear view of everything here. Make sure double check that everything is centered as you want it to be because this is going to be last chance because once we start lifting, you can't really move that. All right. You're going to notice here that I put everything on a rug. Um, I, I like this specific rug just because um, it allows me to place my whole setup on it. A lot of people will use different rugs. I have seen the Oasis, Oasis leaf rug used as well because it's quite large. Um, but because our setup is more long than a square, I decided to go with the regular rug. All right, now that we have everything set up, we are ready to lift. So this is where we're going to grab our stage panel or wooden loft, sorry. Uh, you can do it from stage panels as well. It requires kind of a little bit more, since it's thicker, it's a little bit more um, precise. So here, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to attach the stage panel on, sorry, attach the wooden loft on the stage panel, and we're going to start lifting our furniture. I'd like to mention that this is quite hard. You're gonna need a lot of patience, a lot of trying. Sometimes you're gonna have to kind of put everything back on the ground and start again. It does take quite a lot of practice, uh, but the hardest part of it all is to get it started, to get that initial floating done. And once you get it, you're gonna be good. All right, so let's get started here. Um, so you're going to want to place your stage panel as low as possible to the ground. Sometimes, uh, toggling the grid, grid snap off will help a lot. So as low as possible, you want to cover the feet of your furniture. So you want to, if you want to for sure get that lifted, you're going to have to be quick. So left click escape. There you go. So it lifted my rug. It lifted my table. That's beautiful. Back to indoor furniture. Put that back in your storage or your inventory. I prefer inventory because it's a little bit easier. And we're going to continue placing wooden loft at the base of our furniture here. There we go. So it's lifted again. Go back into your indoor furnishing. Grab your loft back to your inventory. Now, this is the part that takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. So I'm going to start lifting. We're going to speed things up a little bit and I'll show you guys when we have the appropriate height. Okay, so here I've already kind of set up earlier the kind of the guideline of how high I wanted my loft to go in. So right now I'm quite satisfied of the setup. So there's a very, 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 very important part. And please do not neglect to do this part because if you don't, as soon as you come back in your house, your items will be on the ground. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rotate selected object tool. So you want to manually rotate all of your items so that they stay in place in the server. If you don't do this, like I said, the next time you're in your house, your items are going to be on the floor. I'm going to turn the uh, grid snap on here just to make sure that it's straight. We got one chair. Let's rotate our second chair. You know, it's a little bit hard to tell because it's quite high. Um, I'm going to rotate that straight here. Make sure we grab our table as well. 
That's actually quite fun to do, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I want the card on the other side, there you go. And of course, let's not forget our carpet. So if I put my loft back in our inventory, before we exit the housing menu, very important, let's rotate our carpet with, woo, there we go. All right. Now, this is the scary part, and sometimes it may not work, so you might have to restart. Let's exit our house and make sure that our little station here is floated. I don't wanna look, let's go, let's go, let's go, and everything is indeed perfectly there. Okay, so let's finish the look here. We're going to bring back the stage panel to our inventory because we no longer need it. Hard to highlight, there we go. I'm gonna place my uh, two wooden loft like I had previously wanted them to be. So um, gonna be a little precise here. Let's go it from the bottom, I suppose. Perfect, and we're gonna add our other one. Now you're gonna find that with the windows, if there is restriction, that is just part of life. <laughs> Perfect. So now that this one is set, we're going to make sure that they're both equal. I'll turn off the grid placement just to be a little bit more precise. There we go. Perfect. And at this point, you may or may not want to keep your carpet. I like to have the carpet there just kind of as a de decoration. I've also added some windows here so that it looks beautiful during the day. Um, we can actually just wait it out and I'll see you guys what it looks like with some sunshine. And there you are, finally it's daytime. And this is our final results. I love these windows. Uh, if you did the Dome and Enclave quest, you can actually get them from the vendors there. Um, I absolutely love the sunshine that it brings. Uh, I've glitched these windows a little bit everywhere in our house. I just think they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. And there you have it. There's our wooden loft little card station here, glitched up and lifted properly. I hope you found this guide useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next glitch video. Bye.